Hey guys, Johnny Sunshine here. Uh, it's Saturday evening. It's about six o'clock right now. Uh, we did that repipe today. Uh, me, my nephew Nate, and uh, Kelly, another master plumber, three master plumbers. We started at eight o'clock, uh, and we were done at four. Um, it's a lot of work, guys. There's a lot to do to keep the house clean, uh, make it look like you haven't been there, and it just takes so much effort that I apologize, but I just can't make videos while I'm repiping a house. I'm up in the attic tying manifolds together, uh, and I just have too much to do, man. It's just, I can give you a before and after, uh, which I'm going to go back there. I want to be there when the inspector comes through and uh, we'll get an after shot of that that uh, job. But we finished it. The woman was very, very happy with the service that we provided. Um, we had a great day. It was nice to work with a couple of guys. You know, I'm usually out there by myself. Uh, it's nice, nice having guys who know what they're doing. Uh, they can just go to work, both of them, my nephew and Kelly are master plumbers. And uh, it was our first time, well, not me and my nephew, but it was our, my first time working with Kelly. And uh, the fact that we got in there and did this house um, in eight hours with three guys, turned the water off, got it back on by the end of the day, uh, cleaned everything up, pressurized it, tested it out. It's all good, tight as a drum, and uh, the woman's very happy. So we did good. The only thing we can, the only place we can go now, is to get better at it. And uh, I'm sure I'm going to get more jobs in there. Uh, this woman did show me the estimates that she got from other companies, and I was about eight hundred dollars lower than. Uh, I would say average about $700 lower uh, than the other companies, but uh, it's uh, she hired me because I came highly recommended by a friend of hers, a guy that I've worked for many, many, many times, and he sold the job for me, and she hired me, so... Uh, I wish I had gotten more footage, guys, but I just can't do it. With three guys working, it's not like... I mean, I'm working. I'm not I'm not just in there fucking walking around with a camera. I'm up to my fucking eyeballs in plumbing. So it's just something that I know I got to get the water back on. And uh, I just don't have time to record, man. But I can show you... The finished product we had two hose bibs and new water service coming into the house uh it came out very nice if you walked in there you wouldn't even know we were there besides the fact that it has all new water pipes to every fixture in the house new shut off valves new supplies new escutcheons we cut the old stops off we put new escutcheons on the pipes coming out of the wall and we put cpvc caps on them so it's actually finished instead of leaving a hole in the wall uh, or some nasty copper that you cut off with a fucking hatchet. Um, came out very, very nice. There were, you know, a repipe by nature is nothing but speed bumps. You know, you're trying to get around all these obstacles. You never know what's in the walls, how they, how this guy used backing and what he did. Uh, so every repipe is a challenge and I look for the guys who are out there and you know they get huffy and puffy and they think this shit's going to be a cakewalk it ain't man they never are if you think a repipe is going to be a cakewalk you have been misguided my friend uh, so even with all the obstacles the oh we want this we got to do this we got to go around this way. Uh, it all came together. We got it done in eight hours, and I'm very, very happy. I went over to Detweiler's uh, with my nephew, Nate. We sat down and had lunch after at 4 o'clock, 4.30, and uh, 
paid him well. I paid uh, Kelly well. And uh, it's all good, man. It's all good, Jackson. But uh, I'll get some footage of that job. I just I couldn't even take the time uh, to... Look at this dog. Come here, Peter. Yeah. What you doing? Come here. Get over here. Get over on this side. Come here. Look at her. Look at who this she is. She popped over. Oh, there's the other one. There's the other big German Shepherd. Woof, woof, woof. What? Better stop yelling at me. Cussy. My kids should be more than Cussy, Bella. Cause he's got balls! Gussie, you're a good man. Yes, you are. You're a good boy. Yes, you're a good man. Yes, you are. Which one of you guys took a big dump in the in the uh, dining room? Yeah. Fucking greeted me with a four-pound fucking steamer. <coughs> this morning. What a way to start off a fucking repipe day. Anyways, guys... It's sunny out and it's raining. And it's hot as fuck. Uh, this is Florida, man. Can't wait to get out of here. It's gonna happen. I need fucking cool weather. I can't take it, man. I can't take it. Alright, guys. Uh, it's Saturday morning, 8 o'clock. I got my, my crew here. A crew of master plumbers. All Excuse three me. of us are master plumbers. My nephew Nate, you want to be on camera? Sure. This is uh, I've always called you Kelly. Is that's it? my name? Okay. Yeah. This is Kelly. He's owned. He owned his business for how many years? Uh, about ten years. Yeah. Yeah. About Fourteen, thirteen years. Yeah. Good guy. Uh, I've been around. He knows his shit. He ran his own business. He knows what's up. Uh, so. Here's what we got, guys. Unfortunately, Kelly, you don't want to hear this, but anything exposed is going to be CPVC. It doesn't bother me. Okay. So what we're going to do is cut a hole here, mm -hmm. just right here, and we're going to put an access panel. This is this is where the drops are going to come in from the attic. Okay. Uh, it's going to be PEX coming down here, and we'll come out of the wall with CPVC with a three-quarter half, three-quarter T both of them pointing into this kitchen, which is right here. And we're just gonna catch the ice maker and dishwasher off of those two lines. Okay. We're gonna run three quarter hot and cold down here. Uh, we're gonna move these washing machines. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the, the water, uh, water heater already has CPVC on it. So we're just gonna make a connection there and we need to get a hose bib out that side, out in the back. Mm -hmm. um, the access Nate for that is, yep. There's a door right there. We can yep. catch it through. Okay. And we're just going to come up. I'm not putting a washer box in this. Okay. We're coming up and we're going to put our, our, our valves with hammer arresters All in right. line. All right. Uh, in here. Let's start out at the service, where the service comes in. Nate. So this is the service, guys. Uh, the tub, you know, you come in the frame wall. I oh, it's maybe blocked, but we need to get into this wall where the where the pipes come in. That's where the service is going in. We'll put a new ball valve on that, uh, and I'll show you where that is. <clears throat> so we've got an access here, Nate. All right. We need to get this opened up. Okay. This is where the service is going to come in. We're going right. to go straight up through this wall. Uh, and we're going to drop down this wall, Kelly. Yep. You can come down here? Yep. Over here, try to avoid this. I'm going to, when I get up there, I'm going to get it back as far as I can so we don't mess around with this panel. Gotcha. I mean, this box. All right. Okay. All right. Really come in there now. Yep. Right. Sort of pick up the toilet out of the cabinet. Correct. Yep. And that's all packs. Uh, no, CPVC in the cabinet because okay. that's the stops that I have. Yeah, okay. But uh, I've got easy adapters for that. So this is the kitchen. Uh, we're just going to run our stuff down the back. Catch the ice maker. Yep. We're going to have the ice maker stops and 
uh, the dishwasher stop in here with hammer arresters on both. Okay. And we'll just, I have a longer hose for this. All right. Okay. We'll just run a hose through there. And that's where the washer, this is where the washer and the laundry tub are right now in the back. Correct. Side. Yeah. So right. this is, it's a wood frame house. Yep. Oh, wow. So, um, you know, these pipes are going to come down through here, Nate. Yep. We're going to need to get these drawers out of here. Okay. It's open. Yep. But these need to come out. Sure. Yep. I'll get those out. And one. like I said, the, uh, the hose bib over here. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. How are you? We just need to get her a hose bib on the back here. All right. It's going to be on this wall. It's going to be. All right. We'll come out from underneath that window. Yeah. Right. I'd put it as, you know, I want to. Try to center it up on the window. Yeah. Well, not even so much that, but just get the pipe in front of the water heater. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So we can prefab it, drop it down, and right. And on these on these hose bibs, we're going to use drop air L's. Okay. Uh, with a street ninety. Street ninety up. Yeah. All right. So this is the access here. We need to open this up, Nate. All right. And I've got plastic drop cloths. We need to cover. We'll get a six foot ladder in here, sure. cover all this stuff. She did a good job of cleaning all the cabinets out right. and everything. Kelly, this is the same thing. Down Pipes there. coming down the wall, yeah. catch that toilet. This, uh, that's a new valve. I'm hoping we can get the adapters that are going into there out, the mm -hmm. half inch, whatever the adapters are. Yep. Take them out, screw some PETS adapters in there, half inch, mm -hmm. and just Go right back up I'm going to leave the pipes unstrapped up top so that you can do whatever you have to do. Right. Uh, that's that's it, guys. That's the whole nutshell. So, do we have access to the back side of that? The back side of that shower? Back. No, it's going to have, that's the tough, that's the one that we're going to have to go through. It's not in the closet, though, is it? It's, no, it's no, no, the, that's the back here. wall. It's like right here. If we get in there and it's, there's, a, there's an issue, we can come down low behind this and put a grill or an access, you know what I'm yeah. saying? If we have to, if it's impossible to get through the front. So that's it, guys. Let's get her done, Jackson. There's a, uh, I've got a CPVC box here okay. that we can stock with straps, screws, uh, my fittings are right here, Kelly. Hey, Nate, pull those cones off. Everything you need is in here, all right? Okay. Just like stop that. Package. Yeah, just stop that, that, uh, that tray. What, what I can do is I, I've got, uh, I've got an empty blackout. Okay. I can just get you want to do that? that? That's and then when fine. I'm done, I can just give it all back. Absolutely. Whatever's easier for you, brother. Alright guys, so we're getting everything ready. Nate's opening up the attic right now. We've got the whole house protected. We gotta get some of this paper in every cabinet we'll be working in. And uh What's it look like up there? Flashlight. Thank you, sir. Um, got some good room. That's what I thought. Yep. yep from what I remember. Thirty inches. Yeah, that's plenty, man. Yep. I just need to get up there and get these two drops in for him in that laundry room. Yep. Three quarter hot and cold. We'll get them. Don't take the plastic off. I don't, you know more about PEX than me, but yeah. don't take that stuff off. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna. I'm, I'll hold the rolls down here and just. You can just pull it. I'll feed it to you. Nice. Three quarter hot and cold? Yes, sir. but they're on that bottom drawer. 
bottom. Uh, not the bottom. Yeah, it has all the screws in there. Huh? What? Insulating this? No. Okay, just ask him. Hey guys, look at this sorry motherfucker over there. Don't tell me what to do. Man. I'm the fucking boss, buddy. <laughs> I'm the guy with the funny money. The Trump, Trump hundred dollar bills. I drop them. Nate, did you see these? Yeah, so I drop them all over the place, man. Some guy yesterday. I went to Detweiler's, man, and and I was trying. I had my eye on a parking spot, and this. This fucker pulled in, you know, he got in my spot. And I'm in my truck. I was like, God damn it. I wanted to back up so the ass end was over the grass, you know. But he whips into the spot I wanted. And I could see he was a, had a Trump sticker on his car. So I had one of them funny $100 bills. And I dropped it on the ground in the parking lot. And I watched him pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, you son of a bitch. All right, we're gonna go back in the house, Nate, and get this shower. I'm gonna let's take a little breaky. I'm gonna work on that shower. You got another suit, right? Yeah.